They go. Yes. Oh my God. Public announcement. First of all, seriously, I, I just got to bow down to you guys. You are Chicago legends. Okay. Let me go ahead and give you your props right now. Thank you. Been listening to y'all for years. Like, I'm just so proud of you. Like, seriously, y'all never left Chicago. You, ne you know, you always been 100% Shy City. And I love that about you guys. I really, really do. I'm so happy for you. So proud of your success. 30 years in the game. Come on, who else could say they've been around for 30 years? <laughs> Thank you. Like, Thank real you. talk, what is the formula? I mean, I know there's been a couple changes here and there. We're going to address the elephant in the room. You know, we're going to get to that in just a little bit. But, like, what, what's the key to the longevity, man? God. Okay. God, you know, and, um, and brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? The whole yeah. thing is just, just being able to understand each other and each other's yeah. character, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, that's, that's how that, that's what brings us closer to being family. Come on, man. You got to go. You got to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the little puppy. He, he, he's doing too much. Ah, oh, he's so cute uh, though. But yeah, Ace, your take on it. Uh, hey, how you doing? Good, man. Always good. good to see you, love. Yes. Um, for me, just thinking about what kind of gives us the longevity as long as we've been here and doing it. Um, it's just a matter of, it is the brotherhood, but also it's just a common love for music. A lot of mm -hmm. times, um, that's the easiest thing to bond over. So what you do is you take the easiest thing to bond over and you make that type first. Yeah. And all the other stuff, it tends to come together. Now, it's not to say things are not without ups and downs because that's with anything. Anything. In life. But ultimately, ultimately, when you want something to work, it works. You find a way. Okay. Mark. Okay. Hey, what's happening? What's up, babe? <laughs> not much. You know, uh, my take on it is the same. It's the same thing. You know, it's hard work. It's yeah. being able to adjust to the changes. Yeah. It's being able, it's, 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 it's just the pure love for what you do. Mm -hmm. And it's your craft. You know, um, so if you don't take at heart anything that you're doing and you just there for the money, it ain't going to really go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Because right. money, money ain't it all the time. You know, money right. comes and goes. That's one, one thing you learn in this business and in life, period, is that money comes and goes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if, um, if you got the pure love for what you do, ain't nothing going to play up. Man, again, just so proud of you guys. Like, I, I'm seriously sitting here trying to think, like, what other groups have been together for 30 years. You know, of course, you've got the, the legend legends, right. the old school, you know, much respect to like the OJs and the Isleys. I mean, they're much older than any of yeah. us. So of course yeah. they've been around longer. But when I sit and I think, I'm like, wait, what younger cats have been together for 30 years? That's just unheard of in the industry, mm -hmm. you know, just being in the industry period, not even as a group, but even solo artists don't even go that long, a lot of them. So again, yeah. And you, so you proud. Know. Um, before we go on, I, I just got to give my big brother felony a shout out for not being in, in his absence, bro. You know what's up? We love you. <laughs> got to shout you up as if you are here. Yeah. yeah. And he has a lot to do with the glue too. Yes. Of the group. Absolutely. He has a lot to do with the glue. You know, um, him and I has been. You, you know, we've we've never broken up. Mm -hmm. We we've, we've never. You know, we've always continued, even though we had some go and some come. But yeah. um, Felony and I have managed to um, keep it together, yeah. you know, throughout these years. Um, and so I just want to give him a shout out in his absence. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's love right there. That's absolutely yeah. love. So I know you guys, you know, you do your thing as public announcement. And I know you've got some solo things that you've done over the years and stuff, too. How do you balance it all? Do you just free reign? Go do what you got to do. But, you know, come back to the group. How does that work? Yeah, basically, it's like what's most important. Mm -hmm. We have um, we 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 know that that public announcement is our car, and we can put anything in the car to take a ride. You know what I mean? So okay. So so knowing that that is the that's the um, you know the the fruit the bite of the fruit. You know, <laughs> um, everything else comes along behind that. There's nothing bigger than public announcement. Mm. You know, even even with our own solo careers. 
we treat that public announcement things like the Batman sign. When they throw the Batman sign <laughs> up and then Batman <laughs> know he got to go get it. Yes. So that's how we do that sign. So everything follows behind that. Okay. And you guys have been at this for such a long time. So it's like a well-oiled machine, if you will. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. I think I think you hit the nail right on the head with that. Yeah. Um, you know, we, 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 we recognize that, you know, that public announcement, this is our vehicle. It's taken us places and it continues to take us places. So yeah. uh, therefore, you know, yes, we do have projects and things that we do outside of here. But at the same time, we recognize and, and we call this place like home, mm-hmm. you know. So from whence we came, you know, we always be able to be here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, we, we, we love it like that and we treat it like that. And, you know, that's how we continue to also to continue moving. Right. We're in the same vehicle and, you know, the water is always, <laughs> you know, the, the, the grass is always greener yeah. where you water okay. it. Yeah. So that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's using right. that analogy, that's how we treat this. Yeah. Thing. yeah. And I just love the fact that you guys, Chicago, your home. I mean, this yeah. is your city. When you say public announcement. I was talking to one of my cousins who lives in another state when I was like, oh, girl, I'm so excited. I'm be talking to my guys from public announcement. And I was just like, she's like, yeah, from Chicago. You know, even she knew you in, in another state. I mean, you guys are known everywhere, but you've always kept it homegrown. Why yeah, is yeah. that? Because you could have went to New York. You could have went to L.A. You could have went to the ATL, all of that. But <laughs> you are pure Chicago. Well, all of us, we have we have big families mm-hmm. and um, our morals and values are <laughs> are of family. You know, um, we love hard and um, we love our city. I mean, you know, and we just we pray that our city will support us more and recognize us more. But if that not being the case, that does not stop us from moving. You know, and that don't stop us from loving them either. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, that's facts. Yeah, it's it's just really a blessing to still be able to share. Yeah. You know that that God still allows us to get out here, and um and do what we love and share. Mm-hmm. Truly a blessing. Yeah, I just got to tell you the story real quick. Um, I used to sing professionally, like jingles and background for some gospel artists and whatever. You know, I used to carry a tune a little bit. I don't do it too much anymore <laughs> since I've been in radio, right? So I'd rather use my speaking voice than my singing voice. <laughs> but um, I, I have a special connection to you guys. You may not remember, you may remember, I don't know. But my sister and I, we sang at, uh, remember back in the day, like I'm talking like I was a teen, like late 80s, early, early 90s. Um, the New Regal Theater on 79th and Stony would have these talent shows yeah okay Uh so one year my sister and I we performed and we kept winning and we got sent to Showtime at the Apollo in New York all of that it was amazing um but you guys were like a judge or something for the talent show or you performed in it with R. Kelly or something but since that day I've been the biggest fan of public announcement that's just my little story that I have my little connection with y'all because back (laughs) then you were in the process of becoming who you are as well this had to be 88 89 maybe and everybody was like public announcement public announcement public announcement and maybe it was 90 I don't know what year it was but it was a long time ago so I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you that I've been rocking with y'all like (laughs) since when I say the very beginning I mean the very beginning well, yeah. you know, we got we got love for you, B. You know, we yeah. we we've yeah, we been, we sure. been loving on you collectively, individually, <laughs> yeah. certified. You know, you show yeah. Chicago a lot of love, and you show Chicago artists a lot of love. And then when we breaking out from here, you still show us a lot of love. So yes. you know, we're just gonna reciprocate that today and let you know we love you. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. And yeah. I've yeah. seen you, know you guys over the years hosting, you know, concerts that you're in and stuff like that. So yeah, the love is strong, man. It's there. It's there. Hey, you know what? If I'm not mistaken, you were mentoring my, my son, Kendall Gaines. Uh, Does the name right? ring the bell? Yes. <laughs> I love that kid. Yes. One of my best students. I'm not just saying yeah. that either. I'm yeah. not just saying that. Be respectful. On yeah. his business, yes, oh, yeah. I love and, it. And he's supposed to I be. recall, right. yes. Oh my goodness, yeah. that is so cool. So, so you, see, you see how much love we got for you. Okay. Man. We look our kid, yes. though. Yes. Right. And yes. I'm, I'm on, I'm on toast you because even on my solo song, my solo love, you were the very first person to play that record. So uh, thank you once again for that. Yay. Of 
course, whatever I can do to help, man. You know, some things aren't in my control. You know the industry. What's next for public announcement? I, I got the list from your manager of all the tour dates that you done did and that's coming up. Uh -huh. I'm like, oh my God, these brothers are on a roll. What's next? I'm excited, of course, about this week, tomorrow, yeah. Friday. Uh, you're going to be out at the venue with uh, Drew Hill mm -hmm. and Next and H-Town. Yeah. Um, wow. So that's what's next. What are we expecting? That's what's yeah. next right there. We, um, we've been really, really, really putting in some real hard work mm -hmm. to um, really represent our city because this – this is something that um, we haven't done anything really um, with this kind of lineup here in Chicago in a while. Yeah. And just 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 of the fact of, of us being home, mm -hmm. we got to show out. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> we, <can't have> <laughs> we have to show out and which which definitely we will be doing to represent our city, to make our city proud of us. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. Now we we going to get we going to go all the way back to John Doe. I okay. mean. We 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 getting John Doe, we getting Mama Sita, we getting Yibiyo, yeah. Yibiyo, -yib 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 -yib, we getting all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna we're okay. gonna start from the beginning. Okay. And go and go to the middle, and go to the end, and, okay. and go to the new, yeah. and then then we gonna end it. Okay. So we got old. Yes. We got, you know. Uh huh. We gonna do it all. Okay. Um, all. No. I'm I'm too excited. Excited. Outside of the touring, though, like we're all I mean, when I tell you my phone ringing off the hook for these tickets mm -hmm. so they can see public announcement. It's crazy right now. Um, After this set, though, you still got more tour dates coming up. And then what yeah. next? You guys working yeah, in, um, in the after, lab? After, after, after the venue, we're doing will be that following weekend. Mm -hmm. We'll be in Fort Heights okay. along with Chicago's own Crucial Conflict, Teresa Griffin. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be it's an outdoor venue in Fort Heights. Um, Illinois, we'll be out there doing our thing. Okay. Um, out there behind um behind the venue. Okay. And as, you guys and as far as after the uh, actual you know tour dates, uh, we do have new music. A lot of people may not know. You know, as as with many of the. 90s artists there is new yeah. music out there to be had mm -hmm. uh, but the powers that be uh, really aren't uh, really focused on pushing that as far as like on a radio platform okay but it's yeah. streaming so you can go out there and find the new songs okay. by public announcement so please check us out as well as all the other chicago artists and all of our other 90s r&b brothers next h town there is new music to be had yeah. that actually says something to people you know, okay. so check it out. Um, what about uh, like acting or any other things? Marque, what you what you want over there, man? What you doing? You know, outside of public announcement. Well, um, you know, got to work. We are working on solo projects, and so I got a solo project coming out soon. Uh, okay. Um, it'll be released at the end of this month, actually. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. And we can get that on all platforms. Yeah, you can get it on all. We'll platforms. be able to get that. Okay. Any, work. any digital platform you can give it. Anyway, <laughs> tickets. Uh, I, I'm yeah. not sure. I'm, uh, tickets are available for a Friday show at yeah. the venue. Yeah, they, they, they need to. Do you need to hurry because yeah. they're they on their way. If, if they're not sold out right now, they're close. I mean, it's. Crazy. I know. They're I know. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna still send people to Ticketmaster to get their tickets. Uh, mm -hmm. Drew Hill's 25th anniversary. Along yeah. with my bro's public announcement, H Town and Next, it's happening. I'm gonna say tomorrow at uh, the venue at Horseshoe Casino. You got to be 21 for this one, and we're gonna have a great time giving you some of that late, 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 late 90s, yeah. uh, early 2000s, some 90s. We gonna mix it up, old, new, middle way, all of that. Can you yeah, hear us, Phil? Yeah. Can you hear us? You still we can't, can't hear, hear us, now. man. Can he hear me? Can you hear me? No? Okay. Well, I'm gonna wrap this one up, guys. I don't know what to Thank say. You. I just wish we can hear a little something from the man who's been there since the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. I am gonna be hosting the show. So I want my hugs and my kisses and my photos with y'all when I see you, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Again, much love. God bless you on your career and whatever it is that you endeavor to do. You guys really make me proud because like I said, you have represented Chicago so heavy and so hard over the years and you've never 
uh, strayed away from that. And I just thank you so much for your talents, your good music, and all that you do for us in the community. Thank you. Much love to you. And we want to thank you for your encouraging words. And also thank you for having us. Absolutely. Okay. Public announcement tomorrow at the venue at Horseshoe Casino Hammond. Love y'all. Love mwah, you mwah, too. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs>